to recording. Our presentation is about Berta Marceau and her Impressionist painting, Summer's Day. Berta Marceau was an Impressionist painter, who was born in France in 1841 to an upper middle class bourgeois family. And she and her sisters were trained in painting by a private tutor who advised their parents that if their daughters continued training and painting, then they would become painters, which was viewed as revolutionary and even catastrophic at the time. Marceau continued studying painting and eventually worked at the Louvre as a copyist. In 1864, two of her landscape paintings were accepted into the Parisian Salon. In 1868, Marceau met Edouard Manet, and the two painters became close friends. Pictured here is a portrait of Marceau painted by Manet. And during the Impressionist movement, Marceau became friends with many Impressionist painters, including Degas, Renoir, and Monet, who all influenced each other's work. Many of these artists were part of a close group of friends who held exhibitions in which their work was displayed together. Maurice So died in 1895, and after her death, her Impressionist artist friends held an exhibit of her work in 1896, which brought together 380 of her paintings into one retrospective. Okay, so for visual analysis, so I think from a general standpoint, it's very clear to see how Summer's Day really captures the essence of the Impressionist period. Uh, and start off the uh, the use of the impasto, kind of these heavier brush strokes uh, in this painting, also very characteristic of of the movement. Um, you know, you know, it's evident in, in Summer's Day. Yet, even though they are these heavier brush strokes, there's still some sort of elegance to it, and you can still see kind of the um, you know, the, I guess kind of the rigidity to them. There's clearly there's structures, there's forms, there's depth. You could even argue too. Um, and with, you know, it's kind of like this sort of elegance in motion in a way. It's a static painting in that, you know, these lines, these sporadic thick lines really kind of emphasize um, the natural beauty of it, not necessarily the idealized beauty of it. Um, also falling in line with uh, the Impressionist uh, theme where the painter would paint what they see themselves, not painting an idealized world so you know and being out in nature especially as this painting is out on the water oh um really kind of captures that more so really kind of bring in those two uh, you know the whole natural element really coming uh together also uh in tandem with the more earth-like tones and some pastels um it's really a big um big shift in kind of the previous past couple of centuries in terms of style and format um and even scenery itself. This really also uh, does an excellent job too for putting her on par with Monet. Okay. And from a historical standpoint, uh, the painting was made in the Bois de Boulogne, which was a large park located on the western edge of Paris. And the idea of the, to create the park came from Napoleon III because he had a vision to make it available for both rich and regular people. And during the time of Impressionism, a lot of times artists like to paint in outdoor, public outdoor places, or at least begin painting outdoors, and then they'd finish in their studios rather than the, in the set location. And we know this is called en plein air. Um, and they did this to observe the colors outside the official setting of the studio, almost to gain like the authenticity that came with it. Um, and, um, you know, Marisol actually stood out a lot because she was a woman and a lot of women didn't really like or didn't really paint outdoors much um, because of that. In fact, most of Marisol's works depicted the life of women in more intimate and private places like this pic this painting called Studying the Violin on the right, painted by her in 1992 to 1993. But Morisot was still successful in defining herself as an Impressionist amongst the other male artists of the movement. Uh, she was the only woman to exhibit at La the Société Anonyme des Artistes Sculpteurs Graveurs, which would become come known as the first exhibition of the Impressionist movement. Okay, and then just to put things in perspective, um, I'm comparing Morisot's Summer Stage Gusto Noir, another Impressionist painter of the times, um, La Yule or uh, The Skiff. 
Um, both scenes are similar in genre, depicting two women in a rowboat. In Morisot's, we're sort of in the rowboat with the woman, whereas in Renoir's, we're looking in out into the scene from afar. Um, the effects of outdoor light are captured. Um, the dappling sunlight reflected from the water is accomplished by abstract brush strokes um, by both from both artists. Uh, Moriso utilizes a more zigzag brush stroke, whereas Renoir applies a horizontal br brush stroke, which creates um, this sense of structure within La Yule, where the rowboat and the riverbank are sort of emphasized by the impression of these strokes. Um, Moriso sticks to a more earth tone palette with the exception of the pastel colored hats, um, whereas Renoir usually, usually utilized um, more of a broad range of um, colors um, and he really utilizes orange and it's complementary color blue. Um, the woman on the left in La Yule is positioned dead center as well as in Mar Morisot's um, uh, piece. Um, both of their presences are sort of like held in place by a pin which is like which is like the function of holding it all together. And in Renoir's, um, this pin is sort of in the shape of the rowboat's oar, whereas in Morisot's, it's the shape of the diagonal line of the rowboat. Um, in, uh, both apply a traditional, a more traditional sense of atmospheric recession, um, the distant tree line and the sky um, on the top of both pieces um, draws the viewer's attention downwards to the rest of the scene.